Hello, I'm Andrew from QuickCrop and today I want to show you the Vitapod heated propagator. We've tried lots of different types of propagators and none of them even come close to the quality and the usability of the Vitapod. It's received numerous awards so it comes highly recommended, but that all sounds great. What's so good about it? Well, let's take a look. We have a fully sealed heated base, meaning that the heating element is completely protected from moisture and accidental damage. The base also provides an even heat with no hot or cold spots for even seed germination. This kit is really easy to assemble with the strong plastic nuts and bolts provided and should only take you about 15 minutes to complete. So let's quickly put it together and then we can have a run through on how to use it. Two things to look out for when you're assembling your Vitapod is make sure these arrows here are pointing upwards and the writing on the plastic is legible so that you know the panel is the right way around. The transparent side panels include ventilation at both ends and are made from a UV stabilised acrylic resin that won't yellow with age. I've already sown some seedlings which I'm now going to place inside the propagator. The next thing I need to do is feed the sensor from the thermostat and this is what tells the thermostat the heat of the compost inside and I just feed it through the side of the propagator here and then importantly I'm going to bury it into the soil of my seedlings. So let's have a look at our thermostat. The reading on the top here is the temperature of the compost currently inside the propagator and the one below is what I'd like it to be. Now the average germination temperature for most vegetables would be between 18 and 21 degrees Celsius. So for what I'm growing today, some, some cabbages and some turnips, I'm going to set it at 20 which is going to get them going nicely. Close the vents to keep the heat in while you're waiting for the seeds to germinate, but open them when the first shoots appear to encourage airflow and to avoid fungal diseases. One of the very clever and unique features of the Vitapod is the ability to add extra tiers. I've made this into a two-tier unit, but I can add three or four depending on the size of the plants that I want to grow inside. So, in a nutshell, that's it. All that's left now is to have a little bit of fun with it. The Vitopod is far more versatile than any other heated propagator on the market. You can use it for propagation, for overwintering and even as a mini greenhouse for fully grown plants. The Vitopod, small and large with all its extensions and any accessories that you might need are all available on our websites quickcrop.co.uk and quickcrop.ie.